is a look at that unit that always gets looking awful. Some of the DAC area is a little bit dusty in here right now, but let me show you what it looks like. There's a little reflection here. Let me go over to the other side, see if we can see a little bit more of how this looks. It's not great. It's what I'd call mediocre. You know that karaoke? This is mediocre. All right, I'll get a shot down in there. It's very hard to get to, but you might see some water spots on that too. Not too bad on the engine cover, but it's basically this section right here, right in here, and the same for the uh, section over there too. One of the biggest challenges is about the engine compartment academy clean. I got a couple of things to try today. Uh, one is called Back to Black. And the other one is called hand polish, and it's made by Adams. And then the third part of today's video is how to wash your car and maybe avoid water spots. I'll show you that device uh, that I've come up with, which is very inexpensive, and you might want to get one. So the first thing I want to do is wipe clean the area. Let me see if I can point the camera down here a little bit better so you can see what's going on. Is I want to wipe clean this area so there's no dust or anything on it, so that um, this works good for us. We're not mixing all the dust in with the Back to Black and the uh, Adams Polish. We're gonna do this, I think I'll do this section with the polish and this with the Back to Black. So I've put some polish on the pad here and I'm gonna rub this around and see how this comes out. We'll give this a little spray. We'll just put a little bit on. All right. Now, we'll give this a little wipe. See how this looks. So, there's one side, and here's the Adams polish side. Um, if you look from a distance, I actually think uh, the Adams, well, it's hard to tell. I don't think either one of them, this looks kind of spotty. I don't know if I like this, but I think the Adams polish looks a little bit more consistent. Okay, so I made a decision. I decided to, with the Back to Black, um, I get concerned about this because of the overspray and stuff going everywhere. I, di I, I didn't like this, uh, I'll be honest with you. So I'm putting that away. And I, I did the rest of the uh, top part here with the hand polish. So I went around this side I don't know, the back side, went around this side. The only thing I haven't touched is I haven't touched this part in here and this part in here. And maybe you can see uh, there's a little, comp it's very hard to see without the natural eye. But if you look at this section I just did here, I think this came out pretty good. There's still some little highlights, but you know, I think it looks 50% better. So my conclusion is if you want to take a little bit of the eyes off of uh, this back section, then I would use the Adams polish. I, I, I'm, I don't see anything else, unless you have, hey look, if you got something else that's better, put it down below and I'll definitely take a look at it. But right now, Adams polish has my, uh, has my, um, uh, I like that so far, that's the best I've seen. It's not great, as you're not gonna bring it back solid black, but I think, I think it does look a lot better than it looked. Uh, but it's not the total solution, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so there you have it. Two polishes, one I like, kinda. The other one I don't wanna use because of the overspray and the stuff flying all over the place. I, I just don't, 
I just don't think it's worth uh, using. So the most difficult I f that I find about this is trying to get your eyes to see what I see. Now there's the finish. I got a little different lighting this time, but look at that left side. That, that looks pretty good, I think. It looks better than it was. I think it looks a lot better than it was. And look at the other side here. This looks pretty good too. I haven't, like I say, I haven't done the back side. But I think you can get an idea. This is an improvement. Definitely improvement. Now, uh, what's the third tip, the final tip? This is it right here. Look at this thing. Can you see this? It says RV water filter. You can buy these in Walmart. What I do is I wash the car out here. Then when I rinse it off, I put this in line. And so, supposedly, according to my friends who do this very particular about their cars, um, you put this in line with your hose, hook this part to your hose on this, you put your nozzle on the other end here, I guess, it's a way to do it, and spray this. Yeah, the hose comes in this way and the water comes out here. So then you go and you rinse your car off with um, spot-free rinse. And I think this would be an inexpensive way to wash your car at home. So take a look at this. I think it, you might like it. Let me know. Put some comments down below. If you like the video, give it a like. If you like, you have any comments, I love to hear them. I read it. I read them all. So don't hesitate to put a comment down there and if you get one of these, let me know what you think about this thing. I think it's a good idea. It's called a KDF Carbon RV Water Filter. So that's it. Subscribe and like it really helps. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, we're having fun here with the cars. And uh, it's just, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I hope you're having fun too. And believe it or not, the next video is today is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, two days away. We'll see you in two days. Corvette Club of Marion County. We're going to be down there at the show this Saturday, the 23rd, I think it is. I uh, hope to see you all there. And then we got another show coming up the following Saturday, which is in the villages. And we'll videotape that one too. So we got a lot of stuff coming along.